What's up everybody, Jim Games Live here, and in today's video, I'll be reacting to Angelina Jordan singing the song Bohemian Rhapsody. Personally, I'm a huge Queen fan. I mean, Freddie Mercury is just a genius. I think there's really just no denying that. I think everybody knows by this point. Uh, but I'm pretty excited to get to today's video. Last week, I did my very first Angelina Jordan uh, reaction, and uh, this little girl kind of blew my mind. Now, this is a much more recent performance. Let me see here. Yeah, this is from uh, January 6th of 2020. So this is like just about a year ago, uh, almost to the day. Uh, so we're going to see a little bit more of a... Maybe a mature Angelina Jordan, maybe a little bit older one. I don't know. I do want to go back and check out some of the old performances. From what I understand, there's like a hundred plus of these songs out there. And uh, guys, I'm going to do every single one of them. That's right. Uh, if you like this kind of content, please consider liking and subscribing. Because from what I understand, I have 140, 150 more of these reactions to go. And if you want to see it, please consider liking and subscribing. All right, guys. Without further ado, let's get right on into the video. All right, Angelina Jordan, Bohemian Rhapsody. Oh, this, this is on America's Got Talent. I didn't even notice that. Okay, so this is the show. All right, let's go. Since I was very little, I just wanted to sing for Simon. I really want to impress him. That would be so amazing. And this is the biggest opportunity of my life. All right, guys, before we go any further, I know the song hasn't even started yet. There is a small delay here. It's not on my end. It's on the video itself. Sorry. You might not have even noticed it. It's millisecond or two, but uh, don't crucify me in the comments. I really hope to win the show. You won once, right? Yeah. You think you can? I hope so. This Angelina Jordan, go out there and show Simon what you got. Terry Crews. Man, I love Terry Crews. I swear to God, if Simon's me with this girl, I swear to God. Hi, Angelina. Hi. So nice to meet you. You won Norway's Got Talent in 2014. Yes. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. So tell us, how old were you when you won? I was seven years old. You were seven years seven. old. Seven. So you are now Damn. 13. Okay. And 13, yes. You are 13. <laughs> yeah. I've waited 10 years to sing for Simon, and I'm Aww. finally. She likes Simon. <laughs> So yeah. us three have what nothing to do with what's going on no, tonight? No, <laughs> what is it? What is it about Simon? He's just amazing, and he's a legend. <laughs> I swear to God, Simon. He is. He is a legend. Yeah, he is. I swear to God, Simon. <laughs> Don't you break this little girl's heart. Well, Angelina, I wish you good luck. Thank you. Thank you so much for being here. Can you just come up to the mic like you're going to be? Yeah. yeah. He already knows. Wow. Too late. My time has come. Seven shivers down my spine. Body's aching all the time. Goodbye, everybody. I'm not exactly sure where to stop this, but there's just a couple cool little things I want to point out right off the bat. One, she has this crowd in the palm of her hand. She, I think she even has Simon right now. You can just see the look on his face saying, yeah, there's some real talent here. Two, check out her in-ear monitors right here. Do you know what that is right there? That is tape on your ear because your her ear is too small to keep those things in. That is crazy. That's crazy. Uh, let's talk about the music for one second. We'll get right back to the performance because I really want this to play out and uh, enjoy this together. Um, she's putting a really interesting, almost kind of jazz, bluesy feel to this song, uh, starting off with like, the acoustic guitar and her doing the acapella thing. Uh, I think it was a great way to kind of introduce this and kind of showcase her voice without being too over the top. Um, 
yeah, let's just keep going. Let's just keep listening, and I'll save my opinions for the end of the video. He already knows. He already knows. The runoffs. modulation Anyone can say nothing really matters. Nothing really matters to me. in the palm of her hand she has them in the palm of her hand Bravo, Angelina. Bravo. Wow. Standing ovation from everybody. Oh my gosh. That is so really humble. Insane. Terry knows. Terry Crews knows. Okay, before we hear what the judges have to say, I think the judges are going to give her a stellar review here because how can you not? I mean, that was just, it was so soulful and just beautiful. And, and I, she really put her own twist on this song. I mean, this is, this is. Queen we're talking about here, guys. This is one of the greatest bands of all time. This is Freddie Mercury we're talking about. This is one of the most incredible singers of all time. And to go on America's Got Talent Like Us and saying, yeah, I think I'm going to showcase my voice with this. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of a, it's a ballsy move. But uh, she pulled it off, and she put her own little twist on it. And I, I thought that it was absolutely incredible. It was beautiful. It was touching. Uh, it was surprising. And she really put her own twist on it and, and kind of made it hers. So, I mean, I like it. I think the judges are going to give her... Five stars across the board or whatever they normally give you. I don't normally watch these shows, so I don't know how they rate. Uh, we'll, we'll find out. Um, but she's happy. Look at that smile. She's cute. She's a cute little girl. I feel like I am witnessing the birth of something really special, a star. And as they yeah. would say in Norway, Jai Elskadai. Oh, thank you. I love you too. Can't wait for her career, man. And I think this moment, this time on stage, this song, this performance, is going to change your life and your career forever. Howie Mandel, speaking some truth here. Speaking some truth. Everything about tonight felt on, like it came from you. The arrangement of the song, nice. the simplicity of it. I've never heard that song in that version before. Seriously, this was an amazing performance. I love it. I love it. Even Simon had something positive to say. I was a little worried about that in the beginning of this video because Simon has a tendency to be kind of a jerk. <laughs> you know, he's known for kind of like cutting into people if he doesn't think that they're up to par. And uh, you could tell just by watching his face that like he wasn't blinking. He's like, oh. <laughs> he's like, we're witnessing something special here. I mean, the other judges know as well. I mean, like I said, they're like, this is something... Like, her career is going to be insane. I can't imagine what we're going to hear from her over the next 5, 10, 15, 20, 30 years from her. Like, what kind of music is she going to be doing then? She started at such an incredible age. She won that other contest. Was it Norway's Got Talent or, or something like that? I'm sorry, I didn't catch that. But she won it at 7 years old. I mean, that's pretty incredible. I mean, and, you know, one of the reasons I wanted to continue to keep doing Angelina Jordan reactions is because of all the comments you guys left me before and talking about her as a person and uh, just some little things about, like, how she feels about things and how much um, she actually controls a lot of the arrangements of music and stuff. I thought that was pretty wild. In my previous reaction, I talked about, oh, her producers must have been, like, you know, putting things together for her, arranging things or doing whatever. And apparently that's not the case. Apparently we're dealing with a bit of a prodigy here, and she kind of does a lot of that stuff herself. Um, but speaking more on the character of this girl, um, apparently she doesn't wear shoes. And uh, I noticed that in the last one, uh, the last reaction I did. And I thought about it. I think I questioned it, and people kind of answered uh, my question in the comments. And they said she doesn't wear shoes because she's paying homage to... Um, and excuse me if I get this wrong, I'm totally paraphrasing like a hundred different comments here, but um, apparently she's uh, trying to spread awareness of like poverty with children and things. She was traveling in some country many years ago and she saw this child on the side of like a train tracks and uh, I guess it was kind of chilly or something out and she noticed that the child didn't have shoes. And she asked her um, guardians or whoever she was with at the time, said, why, why does that child have shoes? It's, it's cold. And uh, they had to explain to her, it's like, well, you know, not everybody, you know, has the money for shoes or has, you know, these sort of things. 
And uh, I think in that moment, from what it sounded like, she kind of learned about poverty and how many people are actually living in poverty and how sad it might be. At that moment, she decided to uh, stop whatever vehicle she was in, a train or a car or something like that, go over to the child and actually give the child the shoes that she was wearing at that time. And ever since then, she really just rarely performs with shoes on. I didn't know if she uh, performed perform with shoes on in this performance here, but I thought that that was uh, incredibly touching, and it just kind of really spoke to the character of this uh, this young lady here. So you got to give props when props are due. And um, I love these artists. They're divas, you know? You know, why do I only have... Look, she's not wearing shoes. She's not... Oh, God, the red bar. She's not wearing shoes in this. I didn't even notice. All right, so she's continued this tradition. I'm sorry that bar's there. I can't get rid of it. But if you look closely here, she's not wearing shoes on America's Got Talent on this big stage. So cool. She's continuing this tradition. She's continuing to do it. I love to see it. Um, like I said, it speaks to this, the character of this young woman, and um, I love it. So not only is she a prodigy, has a fantastic, soulful, amazing voice, she's also a pretty cool down-to-earth chick or lady <laughs> that does some pretty cool stuff. So you got to respect it. Guys, like I said before, I'm going to be continuing my journey with Angelina Jordan because I'm completely fascinated. I think it's fantastic. Um, I'm just fascinated with her as an individual and as an artist, and I would love to learn more. If you have any suggestions for me, please consider leaving them in the comments. Any stories, any sort of tidbits of information, or how, maybe how you felt the first time you heard uh, Angelina Jordan. You know, what did it do to you? Like, what was your first reaction? Uh, I'd love to hear it. So if you're, feeling, if you're feeling kind, please leave me a comment and let me know. All right, guys, I'm going to catch you out on tomorrow's video. Good night, everybody.